welcome to Talk Bowling, episode number 43. I'm John Gungdon. I'm Tony Rucco. Now I'm Brian Hallstrom. Talk Bowling is proud to be bringing you the latest information from the bowling industry, bowling tips, and updates on the largest bowling internet website, bowlingball.com. Right. Nice. Bye. He's getting quick at that. Yep. I hope so. It's printed out for us. I know. I know. <laughs> so, did you watch PBA on Sunday? Negative. You still haven't watched it? Negative. Uh, congratulations to Kelly Kulik for being the first women to win a PBA event. Woo! Congrats. Yeah. I liked watching it and just seeing the emotion in her face. Yeah. When she realized after Chris threw his first shot in the 10th frame, she realized that she won. And you could just tell on her face the way she turned and looked at the crowd and just was shocked. I think it was that cool. Stone 8 and ninth. Yeah, I just yeah. like hearing that she beat Chris Barnes. <laughs> Besides that, I have to try and stay awake on Sunday afternoon. So, And, and the good part was she beat him. He didn't choke and give it to her like he's done every t- other time. <laughs> Kelly bought a great game. She would have it, beat anybody, pretty much. She bought fantastic. I realized in the middle of that sentence that I needed to stop right away. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah. She Magic bowled, of editing, maybe. She bowled very well. Good yeah. for her. I'm excited. I bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a question. I got a couple questions last week via Facebook. Um, this one came from Edward T. And I'm... Uh, summarizing his question because it was kind of long. Uh, basically, he's having a problem with his ball hooking way too early because of ball speed. Uh, and I'm adding most likely lane conditions. Um, uh, he wanted a suggestion on ball type and the weight. Uh, I think he's thrown 15 pounds and he says he has all these, he has like a shift and a couple other storm balls, okay. but he's throwing plastic because they all hook too early. Really? So he wants to know what type of ball, what weight, and what kind of pin or CG he should look for because it sounds like he's giving some mixed advice from pro shop operators in his area so okay what was the, the funny pc he said his pro shop it's guys. about a five inch cg which isn't a real terminal i'm assuming they meant a five inch pin to cg mm-hmm. uh but it just is kind of funny five inch cg the way the way it <laughs> yeah. seemed to have been asked. yeah so my answer would be to look for an entry level or whatever you call lower mid right. performance balls. Look for something in a lower performance series because they still react great, but they're going to go a little longer. Mm-hmm. And if you're kind of in between weight, maybe go to 14 pounds. Maybe help you get a little bit more ball speed on the ball. And you don't really sacrifice anything on hit. Right. I don't know if you agree with that. but Well, uh, you could also take some of the stuff that you're currently throwing and put some polish on it, take the surface up to 4,000 and really put a nice... You know, high gloss finish on it that'll delay the reaction a little bit if it's the lane condition that you're balling on um maybe you want to go to urethane ball as well there's yeah yeah because he's throwing plastic now which he's sacrificing a lot there yeah yeah you're not gonna get as much pin carry throwing plastic uh, definitely and we do have our performance ratings uh two four six eight ten uh so yeah so i'm thinking something like four or six maybe Mm -hmm. Um, right yeah And, and john's a little lower ball speed and I know you had really good luck with um, some of those four and six. Like right. the, you threw a link for a while that you were really... The link S30 I liked a lot. Yeah, so yeah. anything... Uh, Rotogrip has some new stuff coming out that's going to be in either that four or six yeah. category, I think. Yeah. Um, so it, that may help, yeah. Look at the look at those category numbers. Yeah, the Brunswick BBP line, like the Rattler. Yeah, and yeah those, anything like that. Some great stuff there. Yeah. So, and good polished. question. Polished. And polished. Yeah, yeah. Play with, for me. play with the cover stock. You can try what Brian said. That yeah. may work, too. Yeah. At and least then, at first. And then as far as the drilling layout, recommend a little bit further away from the axis point. Yeah, take your time. Find a good ball driller. Make sure they watch you bowl before they put holes in the ball. Right. And go from there. Why? Okay. It's so easy. Just bam, bam, bam. Put three holes in. Five inch CG and you're done. <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam, bam. <laughs> All right. So, good question. All right. This week's episode is brought to you by Storm. Storm continues to bring their high-level performance balls with their new releases, The Invasion and The Reign of Fire. Be sure to check out The Invasion as well as The Reign of Fire on BowlingBall.com today. We have a short video. Who's in it? You didn't read my. You didn't read any of the stuff I had in the notes. What is the Skip point it. of me making notes <laughs> if you're not oh, going to read it? Check out what P- I complete. I skipped right over. <laughs> check out what PBA bowling legend Norm Duke has to say about their new invasion. <laughs> Most of the balls today, at least in the premier lines, they're so strong, they're made to help amateurs get a hook. I tend to migrate to the weaker covers so I can get retention of energy and get power into the pins. What this invasion will do for me 
is because of the bigger asymmetrical core inside, it's allowing the ball to retain its energy. Now, the cover stock is as strong as all of the big balls, uh, as strong as our virtual gravity. Uh, but I tend to pull them out of my hand because I can't stay in the same spot long enough. Two or three shots, I have to move, I have to adjust too quickly. Well, with this cover stock married with this Origin core, it allows me to stay on that same board longer. It allows me to keep the ball in my hand longer throughout the day. So I get more power, more strength for a longer period of time throughout the day. You have to make too many adjustments when you get a really strong cover stock. Well, with the Invasions cover stock, I get to stay on the same board, so I would imagine that the amateurs are going to enjoy the same benefit. Well, I think most of the bowlers are, are ready to get back out on tour. Uh, in uh, early January, we're going to get to start uh, the back half of this season, and I can't wait. Uh, we're going to a lot of the centers that uh, I have past victories in. Uh, I get to defend my title uh, the very first week at the Dick Weber Championship, and so uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm healthy, and, and I'm ready to go. See, and then this was after the video. Video, two minutes, 70 seconds. All right, be sure to check out the <laughs> evasion. Oh, wow. I don't. What, what's the point? I'm sorry. It doesn't exist. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, what I should have said after the video was, all right, be sure to check out the invasion as well as the rain of fire on ballandball.com today. There you go. I'm supposed to say that after the video, not before. Very good. It's my fault. On the notes. <laughs> my, I'm just learning how to read. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Trivia. I'm ignoring him now. Thank you. Last Thanks week's question. It. What is it called when a bowler intentionally bowls poorly to lower their average? Anyone? Bowling like telling. There you so. go. That's it. Actually, we had a few people answer this correctly. The correct term is called sandbagging, and that's when you intentionally bowl bad. That's. This has probably been one of the highest number of people answering it. Yeah. So. Yeah, the, these were the only two I saw on the talk bowling comment as of the yesterday or the day before so yeah. there was probably some other ones too yeah, we, had, we had a few uh, people tweeted out and mm -hmm. gotcha so yeah. and i really appreciate the people on twitter that are retweeting when we release a video they're telling other people about it and we appreciate it a lot thank you definitely thanks for tweeting again um this week's question what is the maximum number of times you can throw the ball in one game maximum number that'd be bad yeah, that would be good. <laughs> I've done it plenty of times, probably. But <laughs> all right, remember to send your answers into questions at talkbowling.com. We've comment on talkbowling episode forty-three with your answer, or tweet, tweet it out. Twitter.com/slash John Condon. Sure. <laughs> so, at the house. <laughs> all right, or Twitter.com/slash talkbowling. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. All right. All right. In closing, please remember that BowlingBall.com is free shipping on every item every day. No hidden handling fees. No surprises at checkout. The price you see is the price you'll pay every item every day. Kind of rhyme. That did rhyme. Okay. I should change it around to say that. Yeah. yeah. We'll make sure you watch we'll this episode. That. We'll have a wrap prepared next week. There you go. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No one follow the notes anyway. And don't bother tweeting Tony because he won't respond because he hasn't been on Twitter in a while. Actually, you were on the other day. I was on the other day. I tweeted something the other day. Yeah, and I replied asking you what you meant. We'll talk. Well, after it show. doesn't matter. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thanks. Set scramble. You can see it. Oh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Down. Yeah.